Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install a cold air intake kit on your Mitsubishi Eclipse. The things you'll need, of course, is a cold air intake. Mine's all boxed up. A ratchet with some extensions. You're going to need a 10mm socket and a flathead screwdriver. Alright, so first off, we're going to need to loosen the bolt right there that connects the hose to the throttle body. And then down here that connects it to the air box. Alright, so once you get that loose, you're going to want to disconnect this hose. That just feeds air to the engine. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and basically, you can just disconnect the hose from top and bottom. I'll try to do that off the video. And then I'll show you what to do next. So here's the piece that connected to the throttle body. Um, as you can see, there's actually a lot of dirt. <laughs> Goes right there. So, if you think it's necessary, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna clean up inside there a bit. The wet rag or something, just make it more clean so I'm not getting debris into my engine. Okay, cleaned up. Next, this is your, I think it's mass sensor. MAF, there's four bolts. One, two, and then three and four you're just going to want to unbolt those and then move this out of the way all right here's the mass sensor i'm going to leave it plugged in and just move it over here to set down but i want to show you just real quick if you can see it has this really cool looking honeycomb right there i honestly don't know what that's for and then on the back it has well a few other things for the measuring and stuff but yeah I mean there you go all right also <clears throat> in the kit you order it should come with this um it's just made obviously to go onto the back of the sensor right here it comes with some screws you can just use the original bolts and it'll screw into place allowing for a piping right there since without it it's just open by the way, if you happen to find any loose bolts, like this one right here, which is actually on the end of the camshaft, I want to tighten that up, make your car run better. All right, now you can take out your, um, what do you want to call it, air filter box. There's going to be a total of four bolts, one, two, three, four down there, and then one up here. You're going to need a, yeah, you're going to need a pretty big extension. I have a six and a three, so. Yeah, otherwise it's going to be kind of hard to get down there. Alright, about earlier, that bolt down there actually isn't holding the box itself in, so you don't need to worry about it. And then we can just take the box out of the car. And all that will be left is the bracket of where it used to go and a resonator down there. Alright, so for the resonator, I actually just reached up under the car down here found the resonator, and then felt around until I found a bolt on top. Um, I'm not actually going to lift up the car or anything to do that. If you want to, it'd probably make it easier, but yeah. Alright, so it turns out that resonator is harder to get to than I thought. There's more than one bolt. So I'm just going to pull it over to my driveway and jack it up, and then do it from there. Alright, a little bit of a dumb moment here. <clears throat> if you have to move your car... Um, make sure to reattach the tubing along here, because if you don't, it's just going to die on you. Alright, so once you're under the car, here's your resonator. Um, there's one... Wow, you really can't see that. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. There's one bolt that goes in right up there. You can see the frame. That's the one I pulled off. There's another one right there. So... Yeah, I mean... That's the only two bolts, and then you're... Oh, wait. There's a third one right there, too. Okay. Once you pull those off, then your resonator should be able to come out. Alrighty, so... Now with this resonator out... We can actually start the cold air intake system into the car. Now that there is no other... Remnants, I should say, of the old. Alright. Time for the new one. All right, so you're gonna need to put the little connector pieces, these, 
onto your cold air kit. Don't forget your clamps, because if you put it all together and put that on, you're not going to have fun. You just have to take it off again. Um, they should all fit pretty loosely, and then you're just going to want to stick them in the car. By the way, when putting this system on, uh, you're going to want to make sure that your hose clamps, their tightening and loosening points, are facing you. Because if they're not and you have to change it, you're going to have to do a lot more work than necessary. Alright, so once you sit there for two hours, <clears throat> trying to get your little silicone piece onto your map sensor, you can tighten it down with a hose clamp. Right there. And then reconnect it back up here and you'll be fine. Alright, so by the way, this part's probably not too important. Um, your throttle cable here, you're just going to want to make sure to put that on top of the hosing and not below it. Alright, and... Yep, got the map, math sensor all hooked up. So now... Just got to get the final piece. gonna sit down in there like that and you'll be good to go all right so once you've got the piping on this is loose right now I tighten this one this one can be tightened later um to actually hold it up there you have this little oh gosh I need light you have this little bracket on the side of the piping that will actually line up with the hole right here where your air box was actually bolted into the frame so you're going to want to put that on there, screw that down, and then it actually, well, yeah, put your air intake right there. Perfect tight. So, yeah. So, also in the kit, you should get that. It's like a double-ended rubber screw thing. Either way, you're going to want to stick that in between, otherwise there's just a little bit of pull on the piping. But, yeah. I'll get this wire out of the way. So you'll just... You'll stick that in between there so it'll sit on there and then it comes with some bolts that you can bolt it down with. And you'll be set. Alright, so once it's bolted on, it should be pretty sitting nice and pretty down there. Uh, one thing you don't want to forget is your little air pipe. So of course that's going to go from here to here. I will need to cut that because there is a lot of excess. This is a really flexible pipe though, so it should be fine. Alright, so it fits on there pretty well. It's nice and snug. Um, well, kind of. It's actually not the best fit over here. There's a big gap right there. Um, it is wider up here at the tip though. And it is, as you can see, pushing it out a bit. So, I mean, it should be good. <laughs> But yeah, that's everything. Um, one quick side note, real quick. Let me get out of the car. So, the air filter is right there. Um, yeah, it's in the bumper. You can do this if you want. I'm probably gonna. But if you don't have fog lights right here, that's where they would be. I'm actually gonna take that out, and that'll get airflow through there. Well, better airflow, I should say, through there, straight to the filter. Instead of just being the block that it is right now. So, yep. That is how you do a cold air intake on a Mitsubishi Eclipse. Mine is a 2003. Um, it works for any 2000 to 2004 model. 2005, actually. So, yeah, there you go. Um... Like my videos, subscribe if you want to see more, as usual, and I'll see you in the next one.